Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Avatar Updates. This is Rakesh Negi and today I have made this session for few of my subscribers who have asked me about the RTR A license, about how does it look like and what are the contents of the license. So friends, uh, this is my RTR license as you can see. This is the cover page. Government of India, Ministry of Communications and Information Technology. Certificate of proficiency in radio telephone and license to operate. This is restricted license. So this I have received in an envelope and it is sent to me from as you can see uh, Regional monitoring headquarters is Ministry of Communication IT Department of Telecommunication something like IWMS some addresses written Sarkarpul Baj Baj Trunk Road like Gopalpur Kolkata so this is sent to me from Kolkata office friends. Uh, I had cleared my RTR in the Kolkata region. Okay. And let me show you this license friends. So this is the license. How does it look like? You can see friends. Very simple. It is printed by the manager government of India press. In low carry. Okay. And this is how it looks like. Okay, this is the first page on which this is written government of india bharat sarkar the same thing which was written on the cover okay and this is the first page some green ribbon type thing is there so this is my photo this is the photo which i had sent to them when i was applying for my license okay and i have written all of my credentials there in the form which they had given us when i was applying for this license so all these details were given by me and these details whatever is written here like description of the folder all these details were entered by me in a form which was sent to them while i was applying for this license so friends you can see this is page number two then this page number three okay ministry of communications and it some details are written okay so what is written here this is to certify that under the provision of rule 3 of the indian wireless telegraphy commercial radio operators certificate of proficiency and license to operate wireless telegraphy rules 1954 and the radio regulations geneva 1982 annexed to the international communication convention nairobi 1982 so this is the certificate next uh, on page number four this is given my name my father's name then having given proof by examination of technical and professional knowledge and qualification enumerated below so this is the detail about the exam which i gave practical knowledge of radio telephone operation and procedure this is what i am supposed to know and of course i know it friend ability to send correctly and to receive correctly by telephone that's fine next point number c general knowledge of the regulations applying to radio telephone communications and especially of that part of those regulations relating to the safety of life okay and next what is written this is page number five on page number five is given is hereby granted the radio telephone operators certificate and license so this is this page is in continuation to this page let's see rakesh negi this 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 some points are given and then this is the line that i have been granted this radio telephone operators restricted certificate and licensed so here I should sign, I have not signed yet, signature of folder, this is sent to me from Kolkata because I have cleared my exam in the Kolkata region and this is the date on which it is issued, next some oh, signature and stamp of the assistant wireless advisor is given here, this is page number 5, next page number 6 is this one, so here they have given my license number and the holder of this certificate is hereby authorized so here some authorization is given so let us go through it the holder of this certificate is hereby authorized to perform the duties appropriate to the holder of radio telephone operators restricted certificate so this is restricted license one as you know friends on an indian ship or aircraft so this license is for indian ship or aircraft in which a radio telephone station has been established under a license issued by the central government subject to his satisfying other conditions laid down by the central government in this 
better half from time to time so if the holder of this certificate this is point number two if the holder of this certificate or license is pro proved in the opinion of the central government willfully or negligently to have failed to comply with the provisions of the international telecommunication convention Nairobi, or the indian wireless telegraphy commercial radio, radio operator certificate of proficiency and license to operate wireless rules 954 or any regulations lawfully applicable to him in respect of wireless telegraphy or of wireless apparatus or the lawful orders of the master or person lawfully in charge of the station in which he is employed then what will happen friends the central government may endorse suspend or cancel the license so this is what is given here next uh, the license shall be enforced so now validity is given on this page number eight as you can see i've opened this page number eight so here in this page number eight details of validity is given this license this is point number three this license shall be enforced during the period commencing from this date and terminating on this date so i have taken lifetime validity license friends unless renewed further next uh, there's something regarding renewal an application for renewal should be made on the prescribed form within three months preceding the date of termination of the license to the wireless advisor to the government of india ministry of communication and it that is the information technology sanjar bhavan 20 years new delhi 110011 so issued from kolkata date and the signature and stamp of the assistant wireless advisor to the government of india and phase number nine is about endorsement this is left blank and some notes are given on the last cover of this this is if the certificate or license is lost mutilated or destroyed the holder should immediately notify the same to the central government which may issue duplicate copies of the certificate or license on payment of the prescribed fee so friends for issuing this lifetime license uh, i had prepared 10000 rupees draft and i have sent along with the filled form so for lifetime validity license friends we need to give a fee of 10000 i don't know what is the renewal fee uh, if i get to know i'll surely share with you friends in my some other session next what is it any person other than owner there of obtaining possession of this certificate and or license is requested to send it to the wireless advisor to the government of india ministry of communication and information technology new delhi okay friends so whoever gets this license okay other than the owner should send it to this address okay this one next is no entries or endorsement may be made on this certificate and license except in the manner and by the persons authorized for that purpose by the central government okay so that's all about this uh, license friends so i hope the subscribers who have asked me about this license they have got familiarized with this license now so friends i'll come up again with some new session uh, soon till then enjoy and have a great time bye bye